In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to my corset modesty panel to make it more comfortable. I ended up uh, adding some elastic to the back side of the modesty panel to attach it to the other side of the corset here. This is for uh, modesty panels that are a flap kind here where they're attached on one side and not the other. And in this case, the modesty panel was uh, not removable. It is sewn into the corset and I didn't want to cut it out. And it always would bunch up uh, when I would try to lace up. And the seam where it is attached would be folded on itself and the tension of the corset being laced up, it would not unfold and the fold would be uncomfortable on my back. So I wanted to figure out a way that I could make it easier for the modesty flap to stay straighter and go to the other side as it was lacing up. So in order to do this, I will show you on my other corset here what I did. Um, so to figure out how much elastic I needed to use, I opened the corset um, as far as I needed it to be open in order to put it on. So that would show me how much flap I needed to move over. So you can see there's this gap here and I want to cover up this gap. So I also measured how much room I needed for the corset closed itself. Um, so I would need the flap to say go this far. Um, this will all be dependent on how large your flap is, how much you need to close the corset of course. There's nothing really scientific about this. You kind of just have to wing it. Um, so let's say this is how far you need to close it. I take my elastic and it depends on how stretched the, the elastic is as well. But what I did was just kind of eyeball it. Um, I took the elastic and I figured how far can I stretch it. Okay, and this is where I kind of want to attach it here. So I just stretched it that far and when I unstretch it, it actually does um, bring, it will bring the modesty panel to be covered completely in the back. So I cut out that many, that length of pieces and I used um, a lighter to melt the ends of each piece so they wouldn't fray. And then I machine stitched the pieces onto the flap here and then I hand sewed the other parts on the part where I wanted to attach it. So it has worked out really lovely and at it doesn't mean that this uh, modesty flap doesn't bunch up when I close it, um, but it makes it a heck of a lot easier for the modesty flap to get to the other side where I need to go. It kind of goes there on its own and then I just have to coax it a little bit into uh, the underneath the other side of the corset. So uh, I'll show you how I do that at the end of this video and yeah, that, if you have any questions about this method I tried out and certainly write that in the comments below and thanks for watching